We're now going to have a look at how to solve an equation by completing the square. Let's have a look at this exam question here. It's asking us to take 2x squared plus 12x plus 13 and write it in complete square form as required by the question. Notice that the x squared has a coefficient of 2, so it's difficult to complete the square form. We can solve this problem by taking out a factor of 2 to leave x squared plus 6x in the bracket. If we multiply that out, we get 2x squared plus 12x, just like in the line above, with a plus 13 tagged on at the end. Now it's easy to complete the square for. Look at this here. We can simply just write x squared. And as always, the number in this bracket here is always half of the coefficient of x, so 3. If we multiply this out, we get x squared plus 6x plus 9. We don't want that extra 9, so we're going to take it away at the end. Close bracket, again with a plus 13 tagged on at the end. Multiplying out the square bracket now, we get 2x plus 3 squared minus 18 plus 13. And finally, simplifying x plus 3 squared minus 5. And that's that first part done. We've completed the square for the first part. Part 2 is now asking us to solve this equation. Well, notice the equation that we're asked to solve. The left-hand side is exactly the same as what we've just completed the square for. So instead of writing 2x squared plus 12x plus 13, we can actually write the complete square form that we just found in the first part. 2x plus 3 squared minus 5 is equal to 0. Now the aim is to get all the terms over to the other side. 2x plus 3 squared equals 5 by adding 5. Then divide by 2. x plus 3 squared equals 5 over 2. And notice now that we've got x plus 3 squared. Well, we can undo that squared by simply square rooting, which now works because we've got all the other terms over to the other side. So square rooting the left-hand side we get x plus 3, and square rooting the right hand side, we get plus or minus root of 5 over 2. We're almost there. The next step's quite easy. We just take the 3 across to the other side by taking it away to get x equals minus 3, plus or minus root of 5 over 2. But we haven't yet filled, fulfilled the requirements of the question, because what it's asking us to do is give the answer in simplified third form, and this has a third on the denominator, it's not yet simplified third form. What we can do is split this up into root 5 over root 2. And notice that we can rationalise the denominator by timesing by root 2 over root 2. It's then equal to minus 3 plus or minus times in the top, root 5 times root 2 is root 10. And on the bottom, root 2 times root 2 is 2. Alternatively, what we could have done to rationalise the denominator was simply type it into our calculator. So type in root fraction 5 over 2, press equals to get root 10 over 2, just like in the answer.